Hi everyone, welcome back to Magpie Girl and Frankie. I'm Magpie Girl and this is Frankie, my 92 Dodge Road Trek 190 Versatile, a Class B RV. Magpie Girl and Frankie is a brand new YouTube channel. So if you could help us out by hitting like on this video and subscribing, we'll let you know when the next video comes out so you don't miss a single tip or trick. Today I'm gonna to talk about quick meals that you can eat on the road. I so love to cook on the road, especially when I can take my Coleman two burner outside, cook on the picnic table, eat by the fire. It's such a luxury. But sometimes you're traveling and you just need to get down the road fast. My next trip is a three week trip. And the first week of it, I'm just trying to put some miles on down I-5. I'm gonna go visit my daughter in Los Angeles. She is a training, theater technician and uh, she's assistant directing a play that I'm going to get to watch virtually on my way down and then once the play wraps we're going to get to go to the Sequoias and to Yosemite um, and really have that luxury time of cooking slow and having slow time. But on my way down there, I work part time from the van and I don't get to set my own hours. So I have to make sure I'm somewhere at specific times. Sometimes it's an early morning shift. Sometimes it's a late evening shift somewhere that has decent Wi-Fi signal, which means that I'll be staying in a lot of parking lots so that I stay in the I-5 quarter and stay in the, um, the signal area. And because I'll be staying in parking lots and not regular campgrounds or not boondocking on like BLM or National Forest Land, I need to kind of turn my time around and get out of there quick. So I've got some quick meals with me for the first week of the trip. Now, the first thing that I do when I go on trips like this is I always freeze food as I cook at home. Tonight before I leave, I'm going to make some mini meatloafs and um, freeze a couple of those to put in my freezer and put a couple more in a Tupperware in my refrigerator for, I like those for breakfast with broccoli or asparagus or um, a quick dinner. My husband also made a bunch of white bean and ham soup the other day, so I froze some of that in preparation for a trip. And if you don't have a fridge, this comes in really handy. You can freeze spaghetti sauce, you can freeze soups. My mom used to even freeze our milk when I was a kid and pop that into our, we had one of those heavy metal Coleman coolers. I don't know if you guys remember those, but you can pop that into your freezer in lieu of an ice pack and don't eat it until it's defrosted. And then it helps keep all your other stuff um, cool in your, not your freezer, sorry, in your cooler. And then I always keep a couple of gluten-free hamburger buns around um, so that if I want to go through a drive through I can put the burger on a gluten-free bun. I don't have celiacs. I'm just sensitive to gluten. So like if the burger touched a bun and now it's on my gluten-free bun, that works for me. It might not work for you. So those are like my at-home standbys. But I also wanted to show you my Trader Joe haul. So I went to Trader Joe's today. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And this is what I found that will work great for eating on the run. First of all, brand new to gluten cinnamon coffee cake muffins. I don't usually travel with these because they take up so much space in my pantry. But when you're getting up, like say I sleep in a parking lot and I have to be at work at eight and I need to move my van because I can't stay any longer in that parking lot, I might have to wake up quite early to drive to the next rest stop or whatever to be able to get online and work. So a muffin, a banana, you're good to go. It's great for when you're on the road. Um, I also, I don't drink coffee just because I don't like it. Nobody needs to come at me about it. I understand you love coffee. I drink chai. At home, I brew morning glory chai. But on the road, Trader Joe's spiced chai is great. And then I love these shelf-stable um, oat milk, almond milk, soy milk because you can put one in the pantry and one in the fridge and it saves space in your fridge. But also if you put the spout on the top, once you drink some out and you screw that lid down tight, you can lay it on the side in your fridge and it doesn't spill because there's not a hot, lot of height in the little fridges. This is really handy. Uh, let's see what else have I got in here for you guys. Ha ha! Hash brown patties. So great in the cast iron skillet. Throw some cheese on it, maybe some extra veggies from the night before, some sausage, eat it with an egg. Um, these you do need the freezer for, they will fall apart if you just put them in your cooler. 
Um, usually when we are going slow, I like to cook up a whole bunch of little fingerling potatoes and eat those instead. Um, when you're gluten free, you eat a lot of potatoes. Uh, but since I'm on a rush, this is a really good option. Um, I also love the pecan praline gluten-free granola from Trader Joe's. It's great on oatmeal. It's great in yogurt with some fruit. My um, rig has a lot of pantry storage along both sides like this, so I've already gone ahead and put most of this bag in the jar. Um, and then my oatmeal's up here as well. And then uh, freeze-dried blueberries, a little bit of brown sugar, which you don't really need if you put a sprinkling of granola on top of your oatmeal. So these are all just standbys that you can quickly make any morning. I also eat oatmeal for dinner a lot. I really don't mind. One of my favorite things from the deli section at Trader Joe's is this wine country chicken salad. Pop it on top of a bag of salad and you've got your greens and your protein. So fast, so yummy. Finally, let's see, two more things. These uh, frozen falafel are great. You don't need an oven. You can cook them um, just on your skillet. I use my cast iron. Super yummy. And then I bring it with hummus and the vegan tzatziki dip. I like it better than the dairy one and it likes me better. So even um, though I'll have probably more of this after I've eaten the falafel, I also carry with me either baby carrots or those little baby bell peppers. And um, that way I can get some veg in throughout the day. It's hard sometimes to get enough veg vegetables when you're traveling. Finally, polenta. So polenta tubes like this are great for both dinner and breakfast. Fry it up in a skillet with some spaghetti sauce and some sausage, a little bit of parma. Um, it's super yummy substitute for regular pasta. And if you have any left over, fry up a few slices in the morning, put a little butter and syrup on it, eat it with a sausage, oh, way better than pancakes. So yeah, so that is my Trader Joe haul and my home freezer haul for eating fast on the road when you don't have time for a leisurely meal or you just don't wanna do a ton of dishes. Um, I hope that it helps you out with thinking of some solutions for you while you're traveling. Put your ideas in the comments. I'd love to hear what your favorite quick cook is, what your favorite thing is to freeze and take with you. Drop them in the comments, I'd love to know. And until we meet again, get curious, trust your gut, and whatever you do, choose the path with the most promise.